Buckle up, kids. It's time for another ride on Trippy Food. We're joined once again by... Tom Cruise. Today? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Sure, why not? Yeah. Tom Cruise from Reckless Eating. And today we're going to uh, play a game called What's in Val's Fridge? And I guess this episode is also going to be uh, my condiments to the chef. Okay. So the way this works is, is I just pulled some items out of the fridge that I had in there and uh, and we're going to use every single one of the condiments that I had in my fridge. Okay. And uh, we have to use it all. We have Nilgai Antelope Sausage, which we got from Exotic Meat Markets. Uh, thank you, Anshu. Yeah, and, hey, you're uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and so we are going to, so my suggestion to you is before we even start putting condiments on it, yeah. you have to bite at the end just to see what it tastes like. Oh, yeah, I'm curious. Because we're going to kill it with all this stuff. So here's what we have. We have all these all these condiments. These, these are every, this is everything that was in my refrigerator as far as condiments go. So uh, for starters, we have uh, organic creamy yellow mustard. It's like French's, right? I mean, okay. you know, I don't judge. Next uh, up, the only thing on here that I don't like. Well, you might like this though, no. because Mount Olive does a really good. It's not there's not a lot of sugar in it and everything. It's, Doesn't oh, matter. Oh, but you don't like pickles. I don't like pickles. You don't like pickles. Yeah. Well, based on the fact that everything else here everything is going to be, gonna be delicious. Yeah. Uh, this is um, uh, Hoi Fong's uh, sambal sauce. Every like not Panda Express, but everything lower all have that. That's yeah. all. That's always out. I don't like their sriracha, but uh, but I do like their sambal. This is Trader Joe's Green Dragon Hot Sauce. That's going to be good. Yeah, yeah so I, good. have you had this before? No. no okay. It'll be delicious. Um, and you can see that there's like a, quarter, a third of a bottle left, so we're, we obviously use that. Uh, oh, best foods? Best foods mayonnaise. Well, why didn't you get authentic mayonnaise and get <coughs> Miracle Whip? Right, we'll just ignore that. I think you should have Miracle Whip. Well, the, um, real mayonnaise. This was the mayonnaise we used for our uh, peanut butter mayonnaise sandwich. Yeah, but this is like not real mayonnaise. You like that? No, but real mayonnaise, mayonnaise is called Miracle. Okay, I'm gonna skip this for now and move over here because this- Oh, you've been talking about this for months. I, I have because <laughs> I, I saw this at um, Total Wine and Beverage, Total Wine and More, what do they Total, call it? It's Total, Total Wine and More. Total Wine and More. And uh, I just saw it sitting there and, I, and all I could think of was uh, Indiana Jones, the Crystal Skull! But uh, it's a hot sauce. Uh, called Bone Rattler Hot Sauce. They don't tell you what the Scoville units are. They don't tell you what's really in it or anything. Yeah, it doesn't look hot. It looks no. like, uh, I think there's a recipe on here for a Bloody Mary. It looks like a Bloody Mary. Yeah. So I don't think it's gonna be hot, but it is in a, in a cool crystal skull. I will say the top is not that cool. Cause I, cause I saw, we did one years back and they had more of like this kind of top. Like it, it went up here and it was just, it was fancier. This one, I don't know, it's like, this seems strange. Well, you know this would've been alright if they put a cork on it. Yeah, you know, if it I little, a like a little, it's definitely like one of the cheaper skulls cause like, they, they just were like, ah, oh, you know, mass produce it, put it out. And not putting the chili on, come on. That's the whole, like if you buy a hot sauce, you buy it wanting to know what's what, what's in it. What are the chilies? But then we have our fast food grab bag. So oh, Matt, God. you want to go through that and see what we got? Uh, we we got should have two of everything. Ketchup. Least. We've got uh, grated and it's, Parmesan it's Heinz cheese. Heinz ketchup. Uh, Heinz ketchup. We have uh, grated Parmesan cheese from Roma. Roma crushed red pepper. So that must have come with a pizza at some point. Uh, right? We've got Lucky soy sauce. We have In-N-Out spread. We've got uh, sriracha uh, chili sauce. Whatever What's the is brand? In, whatever's in this. Uh, the brand quality is our business. Ooh, is that the brand? Never heard of it. Uh, whatever this thing is, I don't know. Uh, I forget what this is. It's a, some sort of hot sauce. But I don't remember where it came from. And the uh, halal guys. The <laughs> gyro the, and chicken <laughs> uh, white sauce. Yeah, so we're going to squirt some halal guys white sauce on uh, our hot sauce. I don't know if we should do that. I don't, know, I don't know if we're that close to you yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't, I don't know what white sauce is, but I guess we're, we're going to find is out. Is it like Alfredo or something? I have no, I have no <laughs> idea. We're going to find out. All right, let's do All it. right so, uh, so here's our hot dogs. And again, we have to put some of everything on it. So I don't know if you, you, you have an idea oh, where you want to start. I'm going to try to bite this first. So I'm going to bite yeah, the yeah, tip yeah, of this yeah. do. Oh yeah. Wow, that's so much flavor. Yeah. Wow, that's good. <laughs> and you know how to make meat. <laughs> yeah, yes <laughs> it does. All right. All right, so. Uh, We're starting with the in and out spread. Yeah, and don't feel like you have to use the whole thing. Well, no, it's not even going to be possible. There's so much stuff that has to go on here. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a line. Oh, this is very solid. Is it there? Is there little pieces of pepper in there? What is the? What are those little flecks of stuff? 
Uh, no, it's, um, oh god, I know the answer to this. What is it, like, relish, I think? I don't know. It's, I'm pretty sure, I think it's relish, because that's, uh, the, like, that's why I don't like their spread on their, uh, fries, because there's always, like, crunchies and stuff. And let's do, uh, Parmesan cheese. Alright, where is the other one? There it is. Parmesan. Parmesan cheese, one of the best cheeses. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, Parmesan cheese. well, then there's our, our, uh, our holy grail of cheese that we haven't found yet. What's that? Uh, the uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, never, we'll probably never get it, or we'll get some like opportunity last minute. Somebody will go. I want you guys to fly to Sardinia. <laughs> yeah. All right, and my favorite thing to put on hot dogs: ketchup. Heinz ketchup. Yeah. This for me, this is an abomination, but this is like. I love that. That's such a debate. I had no. I grew up thinking that mustard and ketchup was like a normal thing on hot dogs, but then I come to find out mustard is like the only like if you're like a classical. It is acceptable. Yeah. And, yeah. And possibly did. sauerkraut. And maybe like nothing, because where where they serve uh, the original hot dog, I don't remember where it's at, but you probably do. Uh, but I remember watching a thing on it, and they were like, no condiments at all. Like, yeah. you eat it as is, and that's it. Well, so so again, it, for me, it's kind of an abomination, but the, the thing is, it's in my refrigerator, and we have to use all the condiments in my refrigerator, sriracha. so it, it is what it is. Love sriracha. I've only started to enjoy sriracha the last couple years of my really? life. I never really dabbled in it. Sriracha and uh, Frank's Red Hot are, are my go-to. I, I call sriracha everything. disco ketchup. Love sriracha. It's so tasty. But there's no there's no tomatoes in it. I don't know why. And do they add sugar? Oh yeah, for sure. Everything has sugar. So uh, you pick one. Just for color, let's add them. Let's All do right, the mail. You go first. It's actually starting to look delicious, even though I know it's not going to be. Well, um, if you check out our um, Colombian Super Pedro episode, which is a Colombian street dog, it kind of looks like this. There's like there's like four or five different toppings mm -hmm. and stuff on it. I've been to places too where they just put all kinds of weird colors for the sake of it. I have a feeling this is going to kind of taste like a Colombian street dog. <gasps> oh! <laughs> you know, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's on there. That'll work. Alright, all right, so, uh, you pick next. Uh, let's just get the red pepper over there. I don't, I've never been a fan of crushed red pepper. Like, really? whenever they come on pizza, and I always toss the packets. Not a fan. Texture guy. The texture always is not my thing. It's also just too hot. All right, I think we're gonna go with the uh, relish. Oh, well, you gotta get it at some point. Too. Literally the only thing in here that is like disgusting. Have you ever had a Chicago hot dog? Yeah, and I had him take off the relish. You can't. How you can't do that? <laughs> that's what they said too. That's, but I did it. It's a federal law. You have to. Well, not federal. Yeah, that would be a state law. law. Illinois yeah. state. It's law. okay. Federal law says I don't have to put relish on my hot dog, <laughs> so it trumps them. <laughs> stuff so much. It's so gross. Oh, wow. I know, I just ruined it. That's what was oh, gross. All right, so, uh, well. Uh, I think we should save the soy sauce for last, so. That's okay. Must mustard? Sure. All right, here we go, let's do it. I like this brand. Oh, Sprouts, yeah, Sprouts is great, I love Sprouts. The only thing that sucks about Sprouts I was in Sprouts and I, was, I think I was actually looking for Frenchies, but they don't have Frenchies at Sprouts. The, uh, the lines at Sprouts are always really long. Because they only ever have like two checking things open. There's always a million people in there. By the Sprouts, and I'd sa I'm sad to say, at least as a filming it's still true, but they're the only place I know that still sells fresh ghost peppers. Uh, but I think that they're I think they're moving away from it. Cause I haven't seen have, them. Yeah, I think it's per, per location. Let's do the, um, let's do the sunball. I would still have to put the white sauce on, whatever the hell that is. Oh, by the way, if you get a chance to get these world-centric spoons, I know these look like plastic spoons, but they're actually biodegradable material. Oh, cool. It's kind of cool. They're, they're a little bit pricey, but uh, but at least you're, you're doing the planet a favor. So. I think it's so weird when people get upset about like the like straws and stuff. Like the people who, who do use the biodegradable, they're like, oh, you're not doing anything. Well, it's like, I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I do, have glass, <laughs> I do have glass straws if you want one. Yeah, no, the straws that I used uh, during the, uh, when I did that Four loco experiment. Uh -huh. uh, so, they were bar the They bi are biodegradable, bi bi but they look like they're not. Like, they, I didn't notice the difference at all, but they were, they were biodegradable. Uh, okay, I picked that one, you go next. Okay, we got to care of that. Then we'll do the, yeah. oh, we gotta do the white sauce. All right, my rule on this though is, is I haven't tasted this yet, so oh, yeah, we gotta let's do a spoonful of it. Yeah, yeah taste test. That's gonna be delicious. This is? Oh yeah. Anything from Trader Joe's is always good quality. I never shop there because it's so expensive. Oh, and I didn't mention, but we're using Hawaiian rolls for this. These are long sausages. 
Oh, Waiting yeah. for it? Don't worry, okay. I know I know all about that. <laughs> These are long sausages, and so uh, so putting the uh, Hawaiian rolls, just like putting three of them together makes a perfect size bun. All right, white sauce. Whatever this actually is. What, whatever white sauce entails. I have a feeling it's going to be a sauce, and it's going to be white. What if it comes out and it's black? Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like ranch. It, it could be. Oh, it's like sweet ranch. Um, maybe uh, yogurt? Like a dressing? Maybe a yogurt yeah, in it? like a ranch uh, yogurt. We could read the ingredients, but what fun is that? No. It's already been nine and a half years, and I didn't start now. I'm not starting. <laughs> you can't change me. I'm stuck in my way. So so the funny thing is is that, like, the, like we're calling this episode What's in Val's Fridge, but if you talk to, like, Mrs. Val, uh, or Mrs. Trippy Food, or however she likes to be called, or perhaps she probably doesn't like to be called. Yeah, she's like, just call me by my name. <laughs> Um, she will she will argue that at some point in time, what's in Val's fridge would be like uh, uh, an alligator, a baby alligator, <laughs> yeah, a or a, 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 a llama's head. Hundred percent. And that would not something. be inaccurate. What are we doing? Uh, soy, uh, sauce? soy sauce, but I can't get this open. Oh, there's no like thing for it. There, there, there isn't. There's literally like no. Wow. Little okay, thing. we'll use that. Okay. The old teeth. Oh, I feel like I'm getting old. Ooh, that's funky. Oh god, that's no. funky. Soy sauce was not meant. To... Here, I'm just gonna put it on the uh, the bun. It's like a little. Look at you can give it like little spots. Yeah. All, All right. right, let's do this. Hot sauce. Let's All right. Go. Grab spoon. Cool. I have seen. Yeah, I've walked by this thing multiple times. At total wine. I have no idea what it tastes like. Never been to Total Wine and More. You should go. It's awesome. It's like Bedmo on steroids. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's hot. It's <laughs> weird tasting. It's almost tomato-y. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's very vinegar heavy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's spicy. Yeah. Oh, that's at least habanero level. Ooh. Yeah. That's I'm hot. Gonna, I'm gonna say ghost. Yeah, it's got a ghost flavor, but it's got a hot marrow burn. Yeah, oh well, my God. maybe it's a combination. Ooh, that's oh, wow. That's giving me the hiccups already. That is hot. Ooh. Oh, jeez. All right, well, here we, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, that is that is something. I got the hiccups. I did the uh, one chip challenge, even though I didn't want to. And uh, yeah, you were right. It's way harder than the other years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn, I was, I was talking some major smack on that, and then it just put me in my place. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's some serious uh, hot sauce. And then we ate, I don't know what this is. Um, oh, we have one more. I don't remember where we got it. I don't remember what it is. So, uh, I think it's chili oil. Maybe you want to use the same spoon? Yeah. Or, because it looks like all the oil on the top. That is a good looking hot dog, but we know the, the truth. Well, uh, that is a fine looking yeah, hot dog, really. Great. I mean, it looks like a, it looks like our super pedal. If I got this from like a restaurant, I would go, "Oh, that's a good quality hot dog." All right, you ready? Let's do it. All right, cheers. Uh, oh well. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, so condiment. The hot stuff's kind of canceled out by everything else. Oh. I mean, it's still there. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a funky flavor. I don't know what's causing that. I think it might be the relish. <laughs> yeah, well, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like a weird sweetness to it? I thought this would just be like crazy stupid, you know, but it's no, not it's bad. bad. Well, because condiments are condiments, you know? Even the worst condiments are still there to be a compliment and not a primary. How do you think it would have tasted if we mixed all these together? Mmm. Without the base, it wouldn't be good. Yeah. Mm. The bread and the hot dog even it out. That's actually not bad. Mm -mm. It's borderline good. Mm. But again, we're using Hawaiian rolls, which are sweeter. Mm -hmm. We have a Nilgai antelope sausage. So, that's not bad. Mm -mm. You could even get away with like making tricking people into thinking that this was like, <laughs> something you would sell. Mm -hmm. What the hell would you call it? What's in Val's fridge? Val's fridge special. All right. Mm -hmm. Val's, Val's. Not bad. Special. Yeah, not bad at all. 
I'm gonna go ahead and give this uh, surprisingly a big thumbs up. Uh, there's nothing bad about this at all. There's nothing, I, I, I'm not getting any taste that I go like, oh, I wish that wasn't there. Uh, this thing, which is kind of deadly, um, is muted by everything else that's in there. I mean, you still get that burn from it, but uh, but not the hiccups hot, which I was getting. Scorching. Uh, big thumbs up for me, what do you think? It is not a big thumbs up, but it's a thumbs up. It's, um, there's just one or two things in there that are a little funky, just do not Do you think belong. it's the relish? Uh, relish is gonna be one of them for me, but there's something that's adding like an extra layer of sweetness. I think it's one of the condiments. Maybe the soy sauce. The, I was thinking the soy sauce. The soy sauce, not the sweetness, but, but it's adding like a weird flavor. flavor. Like, I it's think just, it's, the soy it's soy standing out. It's just like it is like it's almost a little gross. But everything else tastes great. So my like if you if you figured out what was bad in here, you could easily make this work. So what's so, up? So we uh, we try to give brand names when we can on the on the um, condiments. So if you want to go out and get these condiments. Uh, and try the same thing. Uh, you can get the Nil Guy antelope sausages from ExoticMeatMarkets.com. Oh, uh, this Nil Guy makes a really good sausage. <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen a Nilgai antelope? No. Um, they, they look like they look like a deer on steroids. Oh no! They're like, yeah, they're they're, they're swole. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> yeah. are. Um, but uh, but that's very good. The uh, Hawaiian roll is very good. Um, so if you want to put it together yourself, again, you can, I think you get the sausages from um, ExoticMeatMarket.com. Uh, yeah. Do this yourself. Uh, I was just ple pleasantly surprised at how good this actually turned out. Yeah. I was expecting it to be horrible, but it's not. Yeah. So uh, thank you again, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.